Hello, everybody, and welcome to this week's session of Glory of the Giants here on Swindler's Den. Hello, hello. I, I don't know. I was I was gonna say something, and then I didn't. It, it was nothing. Anyway, let's just let's just get into things, you know. Uh, announcements. I, it'll be it'll be either already happened or soon. We have a new show coming out that'll be using the Pathfinder uh, system. So be sure to be joining us for that. We haven't really announced too much outside of that, so I'm not going to say anything. But be on the Discord, and that'll be where all of your updates will be happening. Uh, you can find a link for our, our Discord in the About section of the YouTube channel. Other than that, I think we can just slide right into introductions of the players. We'll start with Grizzlock. You can slide into the uh, introductions, but please do not slide into my DMs. <laughs> <laughs> I would appreciate I'm that. There. I'm already all up in the um, DMs. No, but uh, hey, everybody, I'm Grizzlock. You can find me on YouTube under that same name. I've been streaming Baldur's Gate 3, finally hit Act 2, been tons of fun. And yes, definitely keep an eye out for Pathfinder 2nd Edition. Uh, coming very soon to the channel. Very, very fun times ahead. I will be playing Kelborn Kibigan, the half elf ranger fighter. Half elven ranger fighter. Next, we have Barely Caffeinated. Hey there, I'm Barely Caffeinated. You can find me at Crits and Coffee on YouTube. Uh, we're kind of taking a short little break here before we get into some other stuff, so not too much going on at the moment. Uh, tonight, I am playing Siegfried, the Asimar cleric. Ooh, next, we have Dr. Phage. Hello, I'm Dr. Phage or Adam. You can find me on Twitter at Little Growth. Um, you can also find me over on the Interdimensional Library, uh, IDL underscore RPGS, playing Gluttony and Earth with Baka and Kyle. But tonight, and here, I am playing Benjamin, the half elf warlock. Oh, and speaking of, last but not least, we do have Kyle himself. Hey, I'm Kyle. You can't find me anywhere. <laughs> it's a ghost. <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's <laughs> I'll all you need playing, to know. I'll be playing Kyle for the half-elf fighter paladin. <clears throat> Excuse me. And with the introductions done, we can do a quick little recap of last session. Last time, our group had finished uh, uh, killing uh, the the Winter Queen of the Winter Court, um, and with her death lay in wake the arrival of her ally, uh, the Lord of the Fomorians, who did appear after a little bit of uh, prepping from the group. SH also tried to thaw uh, as many of their, uh, uh, many of the people in the courtyard as they could. But with the Fomorian quickly approaching, they took their places as he entered through the portal. <clears throat> and with a little bit of uh, a j guarded uh, a speech amongst each other, uh, he threw a summoning stone that brought in a experiment monstrosity of a cyclops with two heads and long tentacle like arms uh that engaged in combat with our group they easily dispatched of this monstrosity and scared off the fomorian lord who retreated into some kind of portal uh and then w w with little celebration the group began continuing to thaw everybody in the courtyard, uh, including Princess Galliandra and the heroes of Icewind Dale. Uh, for those of you who've watched Rhyme of the Frostmaiden on the channel, you will recognize names Orlin and Zavros, uh, who had been um, pushed back uh, to the Feywild uh, during a, uh, a, a scuttle, a scuttle, a little kerfuffle uh, with the Frost Giants in Icewind Dale, uh, where they were quickly frozen by the uh, the Winter Queen. Uh, with much fatigue and exhaustion amongst everybody else thawed, uh, the, everybody rested for the night with a little, little uh, prodding from Benjamin to the Spring Court King uh, to hey maybe maybe uh pay attention to what kilborn did for you all saving you uh the next morning well actually was it that night that benjamin went down into the uh the laboratory uh after after everybody else or a every, not everybody peek. else a little sneak peek of the laboratory of the fomorians um 
but decided not to engage in too many things. Went to bed. Everybody woke up. Uh, Kelborn proposed to his uh, love princess Galeandra, uh, and then they went to look into the laboratory to see what was going on down there. They found a lot of different kinds of experimentation, some information on things both in the Underdark, uh, including some demon lords that resided there, uh, and things from the astral plane, uh, and some illithid uh, 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 histories. And kind of started piecing together that the Fomorians were doing experiments on giant kin, the lesser giant kin like ogres and ettins, to mix them with uh, DNA from Illithids and the Demogorgon itself uh, to create some new kind of army. But with limited knowledge in the scientific fields, they decided to... They were going to give this information to Orla and Zavros to see what they can glean from it and then hopefully return to the material plane. And that is where we are currently. I believe all of you were leaving the laboratory at this point uh, to start figuring out what you were doing with yourselves. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I leave um, it to you. Look at that <laughs> picture. That's nice. Yeah. Cool. I just did a new splash page. Saw it for the first time. It's so yeah. Pretty. No more ice. Just blooms and green wherever you look. Uh, the the court itself, as you pass through the halls, seems to like. It's made out of stone, uh, but there is a lot of or like roots and plants inter intermingling with the stone structure itself, almost giving the the castle, the court, uh, it's uh, a living feeling of its own. Uh, yeah, as you travel through the halls. Uh, I feel like we still have a lot to discuss related to... <laughs> what our next steps are going to be and where we wish to go now. Um, do we have any preferences on where we wish to head from here? While we have no means, I will pull out the key to the Cloud giant, I think. <laughs> Cloud giants. Bank, vault, treasury. I don't know what, what's up there. Uh, yes, that is exceptionally tempting. I very much would like to go there and see what is inside. Um, I don't know how much use we will be, but the Queen of the Storm Giants is also doing something underneath the glacier in Icewind Dale. Um, I don't know if we would be capable of stopping her of doing whatever she is doing, but um, that is something certainly to be aware of. Um, those two heroes, uh, they, they had a fight against them, so... I don't know, maybe we can get some more information from him. No, if maybe, maybe if we might be ready to take him. That's an excellent point. They were also had to retreat, so it may not, I mean, there's more of us, but it may also not bode well for us that they had to retreat from but, I mean, look whatever at was happening up there. Look at noodle arms and the I old mean... man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's they may not be fighting fit anymore. As Kevin flexes. <laughs> <laughs> I personally worry about the amount of time that has passed on our material plane. And perhaps if we can reduce the amount of time we've been gone, we can get an edge on what's happening there. We, um, I guess we could ask the, the king if he knows any ways of going back to a specific time. Yes, I don't mean this in a 
disparaging way. Is he a powerful enough Archfey to do that? Is he? I don't know. You'd have to ask. Okay, okay. Was it him or the clerics that uh, revived Rakala? Uh, Rakala never went down because she got healed at some no, point. No, no, no. I mean, like. Oh, oh. Originally, um, yeah. it would have been, uh, it would have been some clerics, not okay. the king. Bro. I don't know if he's powerful enough. Um, many of our plans also, I mean, not hinge upon it, but one of our initial reasons was potentially using the portals as a way to traverse more of the material plane in a shorter amount of time. I don't know if there are any portals that lead to more advantageous locations that we could then use if we can get the timing of it correct. which the king may have information about as well. Hey, perhaps we should go talk to King Owen. Sounds like the easiest place to start. All right. So you head to find the king uh, who's in his courtyard um, now upon his throne, uh, still looking incredibly exhausted. Um, like, it's it start it shows a little bit on his face too. He is a older Aladrin, but they still tend to show uh less aging, uh just because they live for so much longer, but it's his years are starting to show on his face with how much uh how little energy he has. Um and as you like see people moving around the court, kind of getting things back to their uh their once thriving life, um you approach him. And he regards all of his. So, what did you find in the <clears throat> the basements? Oh, um, nothing good. It's all really bad stuff. <sighs> um, the heroes, the old wizard, and the ranger type. Um, they may be more helpful or your own people. It's, it will take a while to fully go through everything that is down there to understand what they were trying to accomplish. All right. Uh, well, we can't thank you enough for everything you've done for us. Uh, but uh, what's, what's, um, did you have other things to bring to me than your findings in the cellars. Yes. Um, we have a couple of questions related to um, dealings of the Feywild that most of us are just not as familiar with. Um, we have been told that um, some Archfey have the ability to adjust the time um, in the crossing to the Feywild, do you, mm. are you able to do that? Normally, yes, but in my current state, no. Let's say we wait here for, until you recover. Will you be able to turn back the time far enough? Possibly, I could attempt to. If you're looking for a more immediate solution, there are others within the spring court that can oh question I don't know if you know the answer to this but mm. say you turn back the time and we go back sooner and then we immediately turn back around and go right through the portal again will we be back in the past in here no you would you would be in when you left That's or if time proceeded, if you waited, oh, it's strange. It'd probably be a little bit further in the future than when you left. Not by much, but it is, it is strange. Time is a weird thing to grasp. Um, who, I guess a related question to that is, um, do you know of any other 
portals in the spring court and where they cross over to the material plane? There's the one kind of south of here uh, in the uh, uh, the orchards that would bring you to, I believe it's called the Star Mount. Yep, yep, that's where we crossed. Okay, okay. Well, that's that's one of our main ones. And of course, there's uh, there's one um, to the north a little bit that Kelborn will be familiar with. They'll bring you back to uh, a small portal in the in above Phandalin. Those those are our two portals here that are permanent. Cool. Cool. Okay. No Potentially way. useful. Getting us further north. Let's see. Like the Red Kid Glacier. There's a portal in the Summer Court, I believe, that does go to Icewind Dale, that area. More closer to the spine, I believe, that one spine of the world that one leads to also not the most convenient place to just be popped out into okay <laughs> oh. pop us out in Dugan's hole <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> um who are some of the others that uh, potentially could adjust the timing of the portals. Maybe we can speak to them. We don't know exactly our timeline, but if we wish to make haste. Well, I haven't spoken to her since the freezing, but uh, uh, in between here and the southern portal, uh, Auntie Grinwall lives down there. She is an archfey and would be able to re uh, revert your time enough to get you where you need to be. She's not a hag, is she? You, Kelborn, you know, she is a hag. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Shite. <laughs> Do I know if she, like... I mean, if the king's suggesting her, I mean, is she, Yeah, like... she's not, like, evil. <laughs> she's still, like... <laughs> but is she gonna, like, take our soul for, like, traveling? You don't know. <laughs> Shit. Okay. You know fey trade. It could be anything. <laughs> But those that's the main other main player in the spring court, Archfey wise. Excellent. Okay. Um They're always aunties. <laughs> aunties or grannies. Um, sorry, I'm just pulling up a map so I know where the fuck everything is in this. Room. I can get, I can pull it. <laughs> I can pull you to the Fey Rune map if you'd like. Um, that would I appreciate it. I don't know about the others. There you go. This one has your little extra dots and things on it too. I I don't know how the heroes got here but they might also be an option for however they traveled i will also let kelborn know because this was something you were thinking about when coming here and also caused you some problems while coming here um there are two different kinds of portals there's the kind that you were guarding which is a doorway portal which is step in and you're in the next place and there's the tunnel portal, which is the kind you guys took here, and Kevhorn got snatched out of. Okay, and should I be concerned that he might get snatched up again? You don't know. <laughs> you just know that it is a weak point in between realms that can be manipulated by gods, apparently. Let's do it. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Maybe I'll get another key. <laughs> uh, Siegfried is going to report spores to Kelborn really quick 
Um, Kelborn, perhaps this could be an opportunity for you to go see your mother. And I, I could try to heal her, so you wouldn't have any worries. Well, I, that, that, that would be amazing. Um, isn't that kind of the other way, though? Well, perhaps I'm wrong, but we may have to end up going that way anyway. What for? I feel like I was just spacing out. Um, aren't the fire giants also down there? Uh, the fire giants are in, I believe, wait, what was it? What was the it? Where was storm it? horn. Yes, they were in the storm horn. Storm horn, which oh, is a little bit north okay. of Greenfields. Hey, where's Greenfield on this map? I always lose it. Or it's not far. to the south. Okay. Oh, well, that's yeah. not that far, though, yeah. Oh, yeah, I mean, you're right. If we have to go that way. Do you think you could do it though? I'm not sure. I've I've never seen her. I don't know what the ailment is. I don't want to get her hopes up, you know. That's true. Baldur's Gate isn't far from there either. Is that where okay. you're from? Yes, and my father who is a much much better priest than I am. May have some insight. Perhaps. Remind me, Baka. Mm -hmm. you, when we last saw the mm -hmm. cloud giants, they were above the nether mountains, correct? I believe so. Let me double check. Do, 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 do. Yes, they're above the nether or what you could assume was near the never nether mountains because you were still pretty far south from them. Yeah. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Okay. Um, who's think this just the most fun? Um, um the, the like, I'm trying to figure this out. The um. Bandolin portal wouldn't be like super far. I mean, it's still far, but not super far from the nether mountains. It's just in the right uh, direction, at least. Yeah, I mean, it's better like... I don't think the star mount portal is the most useful for any of our options. Um, because <clears throat> we had to travel through the forest for a while. It was a pain climbing up it and like the main path was going south. So if we're going to go south, I think there was a portal to the summer court that uh, popped out further south anyways. So we may as well try to do that. Like if we're just going to go through portals. Um, the Fandolin one we could use for the cloud giants and or we could go to the spine of the world for ice giants. Or the summer court for fire giants. <laughs> oh yeah, there was a summer court portal in the Misty Forest. That was where. Yes. yes. Which is near the High Moors, mm -hmm. which you also have something to do over there if you like. We got a dragon we could talk to. How <laughs> are mm -hmm. relations between the spring court and the summer court these days, especially you all not um, being active for some time? Would they even allow us to use their portals? Well, I don't think they would disallow you to, but I haven't spoken with them since we're still getting on our feet here. Do you know which court our, um, our friend there, the uh, hero, is from? Uh, which... He, oh, Zavros, he's from Spring Court, if I remember correctly. Oh, okay, never mind. I, was I was thinking if you're summer, we could be like, hey. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm pretty sure, because we asked him recently, I think he said Spring. <laughs> never mind then. The Cloud Giants could be fairly useful allies, potentially, since they're 
area tends to move, it makes you wonder if they could move us to a location for us. I like the way you think. How much do we know about cloud giants? Roll me a history check. Can I do that with my... I just never use favorite enemy. <laughs> um, does it say you can use intelligence checks with know. proficiency? I have no idea. <laughs> this is why I go favorite foe, baby. <laughs> Survival checks to track your favorite enemy. Yeah. As well as intelligence check to recall information. There you go. Oh, you there have you proficiency go. bonus to it, I believe is what it is. Uh... Or advantage. double percent advantage. You gain oh, advantage. advantage. There you go. Well, I got a five. Nice. I got a net twenty. Ooh. A net twenty. Four. Nice. What, what was I rolling? <laughs> it's a nature. What was History. it? History. 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 I got a net twenty for nineteen. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Kelborn. Uh, well, both of you would remember what the stone giants said is that they're not actively part of uh king herig's plans but um they seem to still be moving into the area which is not uh the greatest uh uh thing uh but kelborn you would know that they're they're typically they're more aloof than other giants um very high society driven uh riches driven <laughs> um aristocratic societies uh that tend not to get involved with squabbles as much as the other giants do um they're they they think themselves higher than others which plays to the uh cloud giant sentiment of living in the clouds mm -hmm. um so with all of that i think you would especially with a, a natural 20 down to a 19 i think you'd be able to infer um with what Stone Giant told you, what you know is that while they may not be getting directly involved, they might be seeking this opportunity to kind of move into the area and claim more <clears throat> land uh, that just kind of opens up as giants clear out everything else. So they're kind of... They're not great, but they aren't uh, actively just trying to bring down human society either. They're kind of being opportunistic about it from what right call us taught me about the different giants and cloud giants um they're sort of they're not the ones that get into the fray but um they might take advantage of the situation so uh you know sort of like a pacifist but no, eh, that's the wrong word. I don't know. They they take advantage of the situation, so um, it might be hard to convince them. I mean this. This is going to sound very bad when I say this, <laughs> but they sound like my kind of people. <laughs> <laughs> Um, we may be able to, um, I mean, if they're not willing to help us, then we can rob them blind so they are less helpful to other people. We could rob them blind if we offered something worth it to them, maybe. But I don't know what we could offer to cloud giants. Um... <laughs> I, sorry, I thought of something different. Um, I don't know, we wouldn't be able to offer it to cloud giants, but perhaps later, if we go and talk to the dragon, we would then have enough stuff to bribe the dragon to be on our side if we rob the cloud giant. Or vice versa, rob the dragon to then pay off the cloud giants. One of the, like, there's something there that I definitely think we could take advantage what? of. <laughs> hey, what if... <laughs> <laughs> we go to the dragon, we tell him about a giant horde of gold on the clouds of the cloud giants. They start fighting, and in the meantime, we sneak in, grab the stuff, 
like the dragon's making a distraction for us. I don't hate that. Might be hard to pull off, but I don't hate it. <laughs> the timing could be hard. That's the only thing. I went pirate for a second. <laughs> Hard. Hard. <laughs> All this talk of gold got to me. <laughs> well, I, I have a hard time believing that a dragon would work with giants and vice versa. They, uh, if I recall, hate each other. Oh, yes, I fully intended to pit them against each other. Um, how are we getting else... to and from, though? Yeah, that's, I don't know how to get up to the clouds. Well, you know, I'm sure that the think about it, like, the dragon, probably smart enough to know that he can't handle all the giants by himself, so we might have to... Um, might have to side with the dragon and maybe he can give us a lift there and we'll say mm -hmm. you cause a distraction we'll rob from the vault and we'll split seas can we trust a dragon can a dragon trust us that's the question <laughs> What about um, the horse flies? They were they were pretty <laughs> trustworthy. <laughs> um, and the fun little riddles. Oh, <laughs> I mean, it, it's they were exceptionally useful. I don't know if they leave the Fey Wild. We could ask them. I do worry about them going through the portal, though. Yes, that's, so if we go through one of the normal portals, <clears throat> we have a chance of Kevhorn getting snatched up again. That's true. I got something cool. But the DM wouldn't <laughs> do that twice. It's just true. Just true. <laughs> um, Where's the other portal there's one in the star in the star mounts right wasn't there one, one south to that there's one star mount there's one in uh misty forest to the south um one in the spine of the world you don't know where in the spine and then one in Fandolin, which for some reason isn't on this map it's somewhere <clears> near the mark where it says tribor i think it's it'd on... be somewhere like in the neverwinter woods right well yes you go down the high road and then you take the tribor trail which i think cuts like here i know you guys can't see where i'm going yeah it's above the sword mountains in the neverwinter woods somewhere the portal is where it would be okay. yeah it was like here yeah that's yeah, really weird. yeah you follow off neverwinter into the neverwinter woods for tribor trail yeah i'm just making little marks for now where these portals are i'll delete yeah. them later you can leave them there, it's fine. If you ever want to use them again. This one here. No, oh, that's a bad color blue. Mm -hmm. Do it again. Oh, I thought you were pinging. I'm sorry. Nope. And yeah, somewhere up here, you don't know where. All right. Well, oh, that got really big. <laughs> maybe before we make a decision, we just see what the heroes can do for us yes I think if that may be the safest and then may just inform what we do from there because I don't think we can really afford to lose Kevhorn for an unspecified amount of time <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, the king will say I will also along with being able to give you a time slip Auntie uh, Rin Wall should be able to create her own portal to send you where you need to go as well. Again, she might require something in return, but you'd be able to kind of get closer to your destination. Okay. We. <laughs> I'm not even going to say that. Never mind. <laughs> uh... <laughs> um... Um, well, I guess we go talk to 
Noodle arms, then. <laughs> Noodle arms and the old man to see how they got here. I'm glad it's catching on. News show <laughs> on Amazon. <laughs> Noodle arms and the old man. Watch it. <laughs> All right, you guys head to find Orlin and Zavros. Um, you find them kind of still in uh, one of the rooms. Orlin pouring over what notes he has. Zavros kind of sharpening his hunting weapons as you uh, knock. I let uh, you in. <laughs> excuse us. Uh, we have a couple of questions for you if you have time. Yeah, uh, of course, uh, old man, if, if you aren't too busy. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> what you want? Um, we were curious about how you came to the Feywild. Seems that you didn't cross through one of the normal portals. Didn't they get captured and brought here? Nope. Uh, so oh, Zavros, Zavros used right. his knife. Yes. Well, I've got this um, hunting knife my sister gave me that allows me to create a temporary portal. And you, does that... How does that work? Like, it would... Well, I just... I'm not going to, sh like, show you because it'll happen, but I can cut a, a rift in space, I guess. Um, and it lets us go through uh, to to uh, the Feywild. Um, but that rift is still technically on the material plane. So if I cut a new one here, we'll go through and be left out where we came in. Okay. Okay, which was on the glacier, correct? Uh, in, near the glacier, yes. Hmm. Can, can anyone go through that right now? It's at the glacier. Uh, I mean, yes, if I if I uh, do a cut here, uh, everybody, anybody could go through it. But if somebody found the, the rift... On. Oh, it, that one isn't. It it's, goes ethereal until I until I make a new portal on this side. Um, what do you you had mentioned there was? They were trying to get something from underneath the glacier. Um, how many? How many frost giants were there? Oh, um, quite a quite a lot. They had a, a small army that. Uh, mm. That descended upon us uh, is all all me and the old man could do to, to keep him off of us. Uh. Okay, that's that's what I was afraid of. Um. Yes, it's, it's very strange. They they had been very nomadic and mostly solitary up until then. Yeah, there's a whole king of the storm giants is rallying all the giants together to lead in the next age of giants. He thinks he's being led by Amon. But we've talked to Amon's daughters and they say that he's not part of it. So like the king may just be doing it on his own. It's a whole thing. Uh, does sound like that. I, I apologize for Zavro's voice. I have no idea how to do it. Pull it off. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> um... Uh, I mean, we're we're in no shape to go back right now and deal with that. And even if we did, I don't know how much we could do. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of where we're at, too, buddy. Um, you don't happen to have anything that could help us fly up to a floating castle, could do you? Just not not on me. Okay, okay. I don't think. Zephyr said a way to fly. <laughs> oh, I don't think so. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, okay. We'll, we'll circle back. We're looking at our options. We're trying to figure out what we're going to do next because we've got a. We're, I, we were chosen to deal with this giant problem, so we got to deal with it. Oh, of course. <laughs> chosen adventurers. I've heard it before. <sighs> Are you? For the two of you, well, chosen. I don't know that we were chosen necessarily. Um, 
I think we're just uh, in a terrible situation and wanted to make it better. Isn't that right, or old man? Uh, sure. <laughs> he's, he's so good with words. <laughs> um. All right. Okay. We can get back to the glacier. So, two portals in the north, one in the south, two in the middle-ish. Actually, that one in the south isn't even as far south as you could go, so... <clears throat> that you know of. You don't know of any other portals further south, but there's more maps further south, is what I meant by that. Yes. So and then, another possible just random portal, wherever you wanted it. So, if you were to use your knife to go somewhere else, you'd lose access to the glacier um yes i would just have to make another one and try to think as hard as i could of where i wanted to go and hope it was close hmm. could, so could we go to the <clears throat> glacier immediately cut a new portal go somewhere else and then do something then come back and go to the glacier again it's a uh, uh, the knife only works once a day <laughs> but if we rested <laughs> Like once, you know. I mean, yes, we could try. Um, I thought of a stupid plan. If we go visit Auntie and make her deal, we could have a one-way trip to the Cloud Giant Fortress. We would just have to find a way down from it. <clears throat> Um, and I think I, I might have misunderstood what Gru was saying, or I just thought of it too quickly. But essentially, how the knife would work if you wanted to multi-jump, you would go back to Icewind Dale. Mm -hmm. The portal would now be gone. You'd cut a new one into the Feywild, leaving that portal behind again. Mm -hmm. So the material plane is always a set point. The Feywild is the random one that you can, like, move around. But the material plane is always a set point because you're cutting the new the new portal on the material plane every time. But if, okay, but if, like, if Zavros was to, like, move to, like, walk somewhere and then cut one, that would be the new anchor yes. point. Okay. Yep. Cool, cool, cool. Gotcha. <clears throat> yes, you have plenty of different places you could possibly go. <laughs> It's when you have too many choices and you just yeah, analysis it's, it's... paralysis. <laughs> Let's all just pick a giant and go our separate way. <laughs> I mean, do we want to start eliminating what is the least? I don't want to say the least important because they are all important. But what do we think is the least feasible as of right now um, to take care of between cloud fire and ice giants frost giants i do want to say one thing about the clouds yes i think trying to rob them hmm. could be a mistake because if we get caught they might decide to join the other giants and then we have more giants to deal with yes very true so maybe we take that one off the table. Like, I understand they have lots of stuff that could aid us, but it could also hinder us as well. I... <laughs> mostly under my breath, but I do say, take it off the table for now. For now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I agree, though. It is... Um, I think it is the most risky for an unknown reward, but... And they probably have some pretty good stuff up there. Um, so, another thing to consider is that the cloud giants are moving constantly. So if we leave, we may not know where they will end up. That's true. And, mm. um, I could, did I, did I fly yesterday? You did a little bit. I could fly us up there. How now? I am very excited about this possibility. 
Do you know how long you can fly? I have no idea. Okay, well, I think we have some time today. I don't know. Let me what let me just see if I can. Let, let me just. <laughs> guys, a joke. <laughs> it's just a little joke. Yeah. Um, I... I'm going to add some information for Kelborn, only because he rolled so well I'm with so Cloud smart. Giant history. He's so cool. Um, cloud giants uh, do have, like, especially larger societies of cloud giants, have reasons that they need to stop and anchor, essentially, to go down to, um, uh, like, the, the land below. Um, things like either livestock needs to feed or they just need to get certain things. But, yeah, they're not... If, if they're in one spot, they might be anchored to have, like, a way to get up and down uh, as well. How long might they stay in an area? Um, depends. It's, like, usually a week at the most, but... Hmm. Hey, so, um... If they are there, they could be anchored... And if they are, then we might be able to claim up the anchor, like that old fey tale. <laughs> okay. Um, so that is, I mean, that um, if we don't have to go after them now, then we do have a chance of at least catching them in other places. They're not constantly on the move. Right, it's just knowing where they are is the problem, I think. Yes, it is. Uh, but also, if they are only in places for a short period of time, I think it was even on the material plane a week or two since we saw them that we crossed over into the portal because we saw that as we were leaving the spider caves so it has already been several weeks since we saw the castle not counting fey time okay because we had like almost two weeks of travel from like spider cave and then up to the star mounts correct right it might have been like a week and a half but yeah it it, it was a while so we say that we're officially crossing out off then we think they've moved i think for right now we may have to track them down again they may still be in the northern part of the continent which um could still be useful uh to at least search for if we go to the frost giants <laughs> I feel like it is more dangerous, but it feels like I'm leaning towards going to the Frost Giants through one of our means. Are they the ones at the Reghead, I assume? Yes. Yes. <clears throat> so, would you two be willing to fight with us if you were in full, you know, if you were at your rest in? It's gonna. It'd be a few days to get back, but yeah, <laughs> my voice just seems so <laughs> dramatically <laughs> reserved. I, I mean, <sighs> two more allies fighting all them giants might be a good thing. We do also have, um. The possibility of, um, sorry, I'm looking back through the Rolodex of my brain. <laughs> um, Commander Sampson did give us a carving to get help from the, from Worm Doom Craig, Goliath. And if we're going to take on an army of frost giants, a army of Goliaths may be very helpful in that. Yes, I am. We're familiar with them. Hmm. 
would you have anything? Because here's um, a possibility. Because um, do you have control over the time slippage, or would an archfey be able to control that with your dagger? Or is uh, that its own thing? The dagger is its own thing. It doesn't do time slipping things, but from what I hear, the the arch the time slip the arch phase give is it's more um it's not it's not over a portal itself but the people going through the portal so uh they would be able to do that and we could use the knife to go back to when the knife was first used Which you don't know when that was in your timeline, so... Mm, that, we get into some real time travel yeah, bullshit if we go we... back to when the knife was used. Wait, because then it... Wait. <laughs> then we go back then we to never the start save... of the campaign. Then we never save them in the Fae <laughs> so that they can it's... bring us back to here. This is, this is the deal with time. With using different time stuff we've messed with it before in this channel we're doing it again you'll figure <laughs> it, we'll see what happens if you do it that way <laughs> if but if we can go back to when the knife was used then the queen is not there um I will say the queen there was there was a storm giant there when we oh. used the knife <laughs> Oh, okay, so she's <laughs> she's still there. Okay, I thought she came later. I didn't know. Yeah. In the cutscene, she was there. <laughs> you didn't oh, know. I... Benjamin did not know, but in the cutscene, she was there. Okay. Um. Okay. Hmm. Well, it was a good. Shot. She was part of the reason they had to retreat because she was there to help. Baka, just tell us like what level zone that is. Like, is that like the uh, level twelve <laughs> like, to what, like... zone? Like, what are we looking at? <laughs> <laughs> I step over and see the first monster. Is it going to have a little, like, a red skull, oh, a right, yellow exactly. skull, or three, just going to have a health bar? Three red skulls. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um. Again, it's... Um, we could use the knife to get to the glacier, which we will be in the middle of deep shit. <laughs> to put it... Um, Basically. However, if we use the portal in the summer court, we could at least get to the spine of the world and potentially then bring the um, Goliath with us to help deal with whatever is now happening at the glacier. Which would also give us time to collect allies and then contact you uh, if you wish to then rest and meet us at the glacier um well uh, if we're able to go back to the time of the attack why don't all of the four of you go get stronger go do other things <laughs> come back here <laughs> and then all of us can return to that moment and take her down. I mean, we, I got a quest. I got like four different quest logs and all of them are saying I'm too low level to do that. So it's a real. <laughs> <laughs> so like, but in my mind, I'm thinking like, she's pretty up there in the chain of command, right? Mm -hmm. So we go around, but then will we just undo everything? I don't know. But we I go think... around, we do like, all the other giants because we we know we can always at any point come back and do the final boss because we have a <laughs> we have a time traveling ticket to the final boss final boss well it's, yeah it's second not the final boss second the, queen. the last <laughs> boss maybe i don't know <sighs> could Is that like you two could you two go and recruit slash warn the goliaths while we go run another mission and then while we're on that mission, we can also make Goliath characters have a sub story <laughs> and run that sub campaign as well. I don't know about the sub campaign, but we could possibly go talk to the Goliaths. <clears throat> it's not like I, I haven't mean, traveled I... while exhausted before. 
That's right. This, he's almost died from exhaustion multiple times. <laughs> So where does that leave us then? Like, what if we're going to do this time travel bullshittery? What are we going to do then? Because then those two have to go through a normal portal so that we don't lose the knife portal, time skip, speed run strat. <laughs> Great. I'm, I'm seeing an issue. Like, if we go... Yes. <laughs> if Like, let's say we get super strong, we kill all the other giants, and then we go to the glacier... We kill, we kill the glacier giants, and then, well, it turns out all the rest of the giants are still alive because we never did that. How does that work? Yeah, I don't, I truly <laughs> don't know. Or is it then like we both went there and did not go there, and w both of them are happening simultaneously? I think we just go to the glacier and start recruiting frost giants, or not frost giants. I mean, if we could recruit them, that'd be great. <laughs> um, start recruiting Goliaths. With or without the knife. I think the knife is very dangerous as to where it's going to pop us out. With or without time slippage nonsense. Great. What if... What, so, either way, we know we have our ticket to the glacier. So, without the time nonsense or not, we can still get there. As long as we can find Zavros again. Zavros. Right? Yeah. Yep. That's my name. <laughs> And we can also have them meet us there if we are in a different part and make our way to the glacier on the material plane. Sure, that's true too. Right, um, is there someone specific we should talk to when we get to the Goliaths? Uh, we have a name. It is... Um, oh, shoot. It's Commander Samson Thun Lakalaga's mom, who I did not write down. Her <laughs> I just have his mom is still there. <laughs> Babu skin beater. <laughs> How old was Babu during Icewind Dale? Let's like just 15, get this done. I think. He's he 15, 15, so he'd be like 60 something if he's still yeah. alive. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Five, maybe. <clears throat> so sounds like you all have a plan. Are we non slipstreaming in this portal? I just feel like that messes with too much stuff. Because <laughs> we... <laughs> we've been in the Feywild for five days? Five days, yeah. How much do we care about that week? <laughs> um, because, like, the... No, because if we use the knife now, then they're trapped on that side for at least a day, correct? Mm hmm Okay. So we have to use another portal regardless. Um... I don't know which is going to be cheaper with the hag. I mean, like, just a portal is going to be cheaper than portal and time slippage, correct? Like, it has to be. That has to be how it works out. Do we really want to have to deal with a hag, though? Like... What is a hag? Not good. <laughs> they they trade in... Well, I mean, I guess that's sort of the normal Fae thing. They trade in weird things here, but they typically... I have like an angle or like, you know, a lot of the times it's, it's got some sort of catch or it's something that you really treasure that you don't want to get rid of. So was that barmaid we saw a hag? I don't know where'd you go. <laughs> the uh, we winery went, you winery. told us to go to. <gasps> oh, yeah. is that a hag? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Speaking of, I would I would love to hear that song again. It was really catchy. How did it go again? Mm, nope, it's gone. Totally <laughs> gone. It's not there. I don't know what song you're talking about. <laughs> I 
All right, if we don't executive win. decision. We're all going <laughs> to the fire giants, throwing a curveball. Let's go. <laughs> if we don't want to deal with the hag, which is fine, then we have to find the portal that leads to the spine of the world in the summer court and just go through it and hope Kevhorn does not get snatched up again. But what if they don't let us use the portal? Do they not have I don't guardians at the portal? I don't know. I don't know how it works on the face side. I, don't, I hardly know how it works on the material side. So I don't know. In the spring court, we have guards guarding these portals and things to make sure no nasties get in or unwanted. Um, Let's just let the giants take over the material plane and we'll stay here. <laughs> as long as we can go around and pick up you know nice people that we know but do you have guardians on the face side or do you just have guardians on the material side I assume you have guardians on the face side yes you have guardians on the face side hey yeah okay. they're on both sides usually I mean I don't know if the summer court does it different but that's at least how the spring court yeah. does it. So you don't, you don't, they don't want things just going through the portal willy nilly back and forth because that can cause you problems. Don't want, you don't want demons coming into your portal. Come on. You don't, you, I mean, most fate, you don't want going into the material plane messing around. True. You don't want that either. <laughs> Maybe they'll just let us go then because we are just, well, most of us are we mortals to just get back to where we belong. Oh, we accidentally stumbled into the fae but we want to go home and not make such an ordeal okay here's initial plan I have a sick ass new staff I would like to attune <laughs> to I would love for my cleric friend to be there in case I get horribly cursed in the process <laughs> if that if all goes well and it is as sick and cool as I think it is going to be I am, we can use the sta the spider staff as a bargaining chip to get us a portal to the Goliaths. I feel that that would be a pretty good trade to a creepy hag to give her a creepy spider staff. Sure, but I mean, what if she's, I mean, we don't know until we ask, I suppose. But what if she's it's like, I want your, your right eye in your i mean i i i've told you i i can only talk to people and i only have my face so i would not be giving up an eye well who here's giving up an eye we don't know if we have to give up an eye it's gonna be an starts... eye i'm pretty sure now <laughs> <laughs> um, hey. kelborn before we leave could you uh introduce me to the local smithy Sure, sure, yeah. The, the um, castle, the castle smithy. I think uh, I'll have to make a quick trip there before we go. Oh, I don't. I mean, there are. Since someone gave away all of our supplies to a marauding band of squirrels, I was going to be reprovisioning ourselves from the kitchen larders. <laughs> Before we left, I feel like the king uh, will be more than happy to spare with some extra rations for us. Wonder if he'll give us more gold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my poor, my poor pockets. <laughs> You're the one that paid them. Okay, I <laughs> want to start tuning to the staff. <laughs> All right. You take out the staff. Uh, you're able to handle it because you already passed the constitution mm -hmm. saving throw, but to open your mind to it and to attune to it, I need another constitution saving throw from you, please. Siegfried is standing there ready. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's only an eight. It's only an eight. <clears throat> you take uh, six points of cold damage. Cool. That's only three. And one level of exhaustion. Ooh. Would okay. you like to continue to try to attune? Um, okay. Here's the thing. <laughs> Here's the thing. 
one level is only disadvantage on ability checks. That is true. <laughs> Let me see. Is there anything I can do? There is not. I don't have anything that is useful. Um. Don't have a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> It's a saving throw. Yes. Could I get, could I get a little blast? Sure. She. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do a, if I can get a bless, I'll try it one more time. Cause I just All rolled right. very poor. Sure. Okay. okay. Bless. Natural 20 and a four there on the blast. It is. There <laughs> it is. Max roll. Uh, all right. You feel once again as this ice creeps into your veins and becomes part of you. Um, I'm just typing everything out. Uh, feels but oddly familiar to when I was cursed and I had spider webs going through <laughs> my veins. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I, I have to add one more thing to this. Uh, but essentially, uh, this staff, your spell attack modifier and spell save DC are increased by one. Ooh. Uh, you gain the Ray of Frost cantrip. Ooh. And you gain uh, the Cone of Cold spell at fifth level once per day. <laughs> and one other thing, as the air around you begins to drop in temperature uh everything within five feet of you has disadvantage on melee attacks oh and i mean everything even your allies hell yeah okay great i can't be next to anyone <laughs> <laughs> and that um, is your new thing okay this is just as cool as I thought it was going to be. Okay. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Fun pun. Um, not intended. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I'm going to be adding it to your journal right about now. Perfect. Thank you. Um, okay. How's everyone else feeling? How's everyone else exhaustion level wise? I'd give it a uh, one out of ten. Yeah, okay, one is one. Everybody doesn't, else, I think, is fine. Doesn't go to ten, but that's okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> one out of six. <laughs> um, should we just go? Should we just go to the hag? Just go, get that portal, get this going. Sure, but let's let's we... you know let's oh, go yeah, there. After we supply and such. Yeah, and let's go with the idea that. We can always say no. That we can. Um, are we still if, around? Are we Zavros turning around? And... Yeah, you're still around Zavros and Ron. I was just going to ask if you were going to tell them about the uh, laboratory. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so there's a... The giant that was working with the Winter Queen had a large, spooky laboratory. And it feels like it is much more up your guys' alley. And while you're recuperating, if you want to take a look at it, um, there's lots of, lots of things to learn about down there. I'm sure the old man will love that. Uh, uh, sounds very exciting. Show me the way and well, <laughs> we'll have at it. Um, when's a good time for you? If I was to um find something, could send you a message or that way we can stay in contact. Um, I snorted a bunch of mushroom spores and now can talk to my friends. I don't know if you have anything like that. I don't think there may be more conventional. I think, I think Orlin had the sending I, spell. I just have he? sending, yeah. but I didn't yeah. know if I would have something more powerful at this point, but that's like too um, out there to even think about. Yeah, I don't 
think you would right now because I don't right, know that you I really should. talked across planes much. I can send you a magical message, but um, I have to keep it within 25 words, so. Great. Well, you let us know if you find anything. There's something about demon lords and illithids and trying to adjust the makeup of giants so that they can fight better. It's a lot. The books are also very big. Like, not like thick, like tall. Now you're talking. <laughs> mm, that's, <laughs> you're a strange one. Uh, yes, I'll, um, I'll send you a message every so often. I look forward to it. All right. Yeah, you can show them to the laboratory. Uh, Benjamin can go to restock rations. And Siegfried, you're looking for a smithy. Uh, what uh, Kelborn can bring you. What is it that you're looking for? Um, I guess after we drop off uh, Orlin and Zavros, oh, yep, go ahead. Uh, Siegfried will just... Uh, so I, I was wondering, um, you know, since the, the things on my back and I could possibly sprout wings, um, but what would happen if I'm wearing my armor? Would they just pierce through my armor? Or should I have armor specially made? Or would I just have to not wear armor? Are you just talking Pelborn or is the rest of the group there? Uh, all of you, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Baka, thinking back, were they like ethereal wings? Like, what did they look like? Were they like uh, just made of light? Were they, did they look like actual feather and bone bird wings? Those Siegfried, ones I guess, did or... seem ethereal at that point, but you're not sure if that's going to continue to be the case. I, I suppose having something fashioned with like little slits in your armor. Would a, would a smithy have heard of that or know what to do? I, I can't recall much from yesterday, so I don't know exactly what happened. I mean, there, there are such thing as different bird folk, Aarakocra, and, and those, what are they called? <laughs> the raven people. I can't remember that they're called. Oh, Kenku, Ken 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 but they don't have Ken like Ken wings on their back. It'd be oh, that's more right. owlins. Yeah, owlins yeah. would be the other yeah. one. Owlin. So, I mean, it's possible. It, it, you know, anywhere. The Fae might be the place. Lots of different types of creatures Fairies. here. Fairies. All right, well, I suppose I should have it equipped in case. I'd hate to be armorless. Yeah, brings you, um, brings you to the blacksmith, and you see it is... It actually is a fairy with these large moth-like wings on their back. Um, it's like, oh yeah, just it'll take me a couple hours. I'll just punch a hole through there and uh, smooth it out so it's not cutting your wings. Uh, you say they they come in and out of your body. I uh, I'm not sure. I uh, apparently I was flying yesterday, and well, as you can see today, now I'm not. Do you have a spot where you think they would be coming out of, or...? Um, Siegfried will, like... I guess I don't know how he would hold down his robe. I guess he would try to... I guess pull it down. Um, pull just... yeah, your ass out. <laughs> 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 yeah, you'd, like, unfasten the back of it. And show where the scars are. They, like, measure it out. I was like, okay, yeah, a couple hours I should be able to do this it's not like i'm reforging something thank you i i appreciate it of course i get to work on that uh you get your rashes is there anything else you guys want to get <clears throat> take care of while siegfried's armor is getting reworked <laughs> I don't have hard thought about it for a second <laughs> you unmuted and then went right back on to mute <laughs> I was just thinking about it. I'm like, that's not really kept for it. 
<laughs> you were thinking of a different character, or you just no, no, him? I was. That's not Kefir. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, fuck it. Is there a library? <laughs> Is there a library? Yeah. Yeah. Um, could a could I try find a book about mortals who speak celestial? <laughs> yeah, give me an investigation. Oh. I have a bonus investigation. Crazy. Crazy how I rolled the two. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't find shit. That's a yeah. five. Yeah, it's it's a very specific topic uh, that probably isn't covered in many books and much less carried in many libraries. That's it. Yeah. Um, yeah, if there's nothing else, the armor gets done. You get it back, you get, uh, so you get, um, well, uh, how much is rash, rash, ration is one day worth of food, right? Yes, one ration is one day. Uh, you can get 10 rations for each of you. Yes, that's what I was hoping for. Great. Can I get a little bit more? Uh, no, <laughs> that's all the food <laughs> we have. <laughs> it's all been frozen. Uh, how much and, uh, can I pay for the alteration? Uh, it's free. You get that for free for helping save the court, uh, as well as the foods. And Kelborn got to ask uh, his love to marry him <laughs> and a higher position. <laughs> That's right. And Kelborn got to stand in the library and not find what he wanted. <laughs> <laughs> uh, with that... You guys are free to head out into this warmer air now. You can kind of put away your winter clothing in your packs as you travel in the brisk spring breeze um, and hey, make your way towards Auntie Fire Giant. Grinwall. <laughs> we get there and she's dead. She died because of the, the winter. <laughs> the she's still court. defrosting. <laughs> <laughs> so you all start heading off into the newly defrosted spring court uh Kelborn, you know the way um oh i know the way i, I make deals the with this hag all the time <laughs> <laughs> not that you've necessarily no. been there but you know where she lives mm -hmm. uh just it's just a nice little cottage in the woods as it were Mm -hmm. Um, takes like three, uh, two hours of walking to get there. Um, if there's anything you need to discuss at this point, I know we've already talked a lot, um, or anything to discuss or anything just in between characters you want to talk about, feel free to do so now. Otherwise, you... I am keeping slightly further away from everyone as I'm realizing I just have this chilly aura around yeah. me. <laughs> yeah, anybody that gets too close to Benjamin, you start to feel like your skin, like goosebumps all over your skin as if it feels much colder than usual. Not that Benjamin gave off a cold aura before, but he seems to now. You know, Benjamin... There's a portable AC? <laughs> no, I think about it. I mean, there's an opening over at the, the Winter Court for a leader. A ruler it's we're not going to say it's not in the realm of possibility <laughs> well i mean the throne's for the taken so i mean I'm... things comes out so if you want to do it you should get on it now because if we go right. back to the material the time is going to pass and i'll find somebody before you get back here that's right we killed one monarch we could kill another one that would just seem <laughs> more aggressive if you did it. If you went to their <laughs> <court and> did. <laughs> That's right. If you go now, you could be the one that brings stability instead of war. <sighs> I don't know why I'm trying to convince Mr. Men to leave the party. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you start making your way through the forest as it begins to get deeper and darker. Uh, the the branches almost seem to be reaching down towards you. Uh, long, thick vines and draping 
leaves uh, covering the canopies uh, before... Uh, let's do perception checks, because, again, Kelborn doesn't know necessarily where the actual cottage is itself, but he knows the general location. That's a 21. Man, Nobody else wants to speak. 24. Ooh, 24. I got a nat 24, 23. I got a five. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, the three of you other than Benjamin, Benjamin is just worrying about keeping his cold to himself. Um, the three of you start to, there's like momentary uh, openings in the canopies where you see like smoke billow, uh, not billowing, but like creeping out of the forest ahead of you, where you can assume uh, a chimney releasing smoke would be at. And I'll say Siegfried with your nat 20. Uh, you actually see a figure up in, uh, not too far ahead of you, just kind of moseying ahead. Uh, you can see like, it, it looks like at one point was wearing a, uh, a decent uh, shirt, but there's a lot of rips and tears in it. A large, like, not the hunchback that you've seen of Fomorians, where it's like one side is much higher than the other, but it's uh, like, shoulders are really rolled up into a hunch. Uh, long, greasy black hair, uh, and you do see it from the back. It seems to be carrying like a large club with stones uh, jutting out of it to make it spiked. It just kind of has it slung on its shoulder and just slowly walking long almost like it's its hands are down to its knees uh with how long its arms are it's about the height of an orc so a little bit taller than all of you but not huge um and just kind of uh slowly trudging its way towards the the direction where you see the smoke coming from uh Siegfried will say through the rapport spores um i believe our auntie is possibly up ahead um and turning into one of those um oh, what are they called uh werewolves yeah i, I think i've read about that in a book somewhere <laughs> i'll shout out to auntie <laughs> <laughs> okay what do you okay. shout out hey how goes it auntie uh. hey good luck <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you see the creature stops and turns and you see green greenish skin like pale green skin um it's got one pair of tusks that come out and curl kind of like past its cheekbones it's like you'd see the sharp cheekbones another smaller pair of tusks right next to it um more i say masculine features uh than you would expect from a hag uh, he turns and looks at you, large underbite. You just hear a... <laughs> as it turns to address you. Um, pardon? <laughs> are you, are you, are you guys picking up with her from now? Ask no. her if she, ask her if she has any pie. She said... Didn't you hear that? <laughs> okay, but can you understand? I don't, can I understand her? <laughs> it's, it's not. It's not a known language that of yours or any of you. If it's a language at all, I think she's saying, uh, "What do you want?" Okay, are you asking what do we want? <laughs> <laughs> She says, I don't care what you want. <laughs> oh. I I don't know if this is her. Maybe we should check on her. What if what if something's wrong? <laughs> All right, uh, uh, do, are you are you in need of help? Not uh, not once for yes, not twice for no. It stops for a moment. And questions <laughs> why you'd have it nod twice for no instead of just shaking its head no. <laughs> and it nods I'm twice. Not the smartest. <laughs> it nods twice. Oh. Well. Okay, have a good day. <laughs> he like turns, starts walking again. Oh, it's no, sad you guys are now. up, I do my best. 
<laughs> now it's sad, Kevhorn. See what you did? <clears throat> what? I did nothing. <laughs> Well, it can at least understand us, right? I can't understand them, though. It may be a case of their tusks preventing them to speak as clearly. Or uh, they've been cursed. Are you good at dental? I, I don't... I don't think this is our problem. I might have a it, file in my bag. And this is not. <laughs> why are we I have an axe somewhere? <laughs> why are we gonna give this person just dental surgery out of the blue? <laughs> Let us help you. <laughs> well, I can remove curses if she is cursed. <laughs> Siegfried, I don't think that's the best I've healed was a tummy ache. <laughs> Do you know where we can find the hag, auntie? Are you saying this loud enough for um, yeah, this I'm thing walking away here? The, the tusky. Uh, it one. stops again. It turns around. And is... <laughs> All right, thank you. Do, do you. Do you have a pen and paper, possibly? <laughs> He said it's over a lot way take a left. Okay, come on guys. Yep, let's <laughs> I think going towards the smoke that Siegfried pointed out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you it turns and begins to walk and you guys are following right behind it. It seems to be going the direction you guys are going. Uh, it like looks back every once in a while at you and just keeps walking. Every time it turns <laughs> around I give it a eye. <laughs> You're walking behind someone in public, but you can't like <laughs> walk fast enough to pass them or you'd be like sprinting past them. So you're just like <laughs> four feet behind following them, trying not to spook them. Oh, it's always yep. so awkward. My wife is the type that's got a, it will sprint past them. It's the worst. <laughs> I hate it. Just, I just naturally walk fast. I will four walk people too. with a bird and an owlbear cub <laughs> following behind <laughs> Shit, this monstrosity. That. Um, and before long, you start to see a cottage appear in front of you. Oh. This creature walks up to the cottage, opens the door and like hunches its way in because it's taller than the door itself and then closes the door. If that's, Dude, that's the hag, hag. <laughs> I where if that's the hag. <laughs> Was that the hag? Don't I know what she looks like? I apparently knew a lot about her. Um, it or knew some. I'll say that you've like seen her once or twice, and it doesn't look like her. Okay. Well, I know what we can trade her now. <laughs> some lotion. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, oh, I yeah, I heard that you're not really supposed to give gifts like that. It just comes off as kind of offensive. Like you're saying, like, oh, you have poor skin. Here, well, I got your lotion. Just, I'm just trying to watch out for our auntie. Oh, which reminds me, here's some lotion. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. I don't have lotion on me. <laughs> Thanks. What if I did? <laughs> Careful. What if I did? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> uh, I'll go up and knock. You knock on the door, um, and the door opens. You see this creature standing in the doorway, like taller than the doorway, hasn't hunched down to fully see you, but is standing there. Um, yeah, no, our... we already told you what we want. No, we didn't. <laughs> we asked We asked about the hag. We did. And then it just kind of mumbled at us. Yes, you asked if you knew where, if it knew where she was. Because I'm just going <laughs> to pretend I'm understanding this thing the whole time. I'm, I, I hate to break it to you. <laughs> um, are, are you, are you. Could you. Sh hmm. <laughs> What was the name of the auntie again? Sorry. Grizz... Uh, auntie Grinwall. Grinwall. 
Auntie Grislock. Kathleen <laughs> Griswold. Griswold. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Grinwald. Grinwald. Are 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 you Auntie Grinwald? It nods its head twice. Oh. Okay. Apologies. <laughs> um Do you know if Auntie Grinwald has a moment to talk to us? And like slightly turns a little bit. And it turns back, nods its head once. I'll look back to the group and tell him to come in. It like steps out of the way. Um, and you see a cottage before you. Let's see if there's the right music. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, absolutely not. I didn't even uh, get music on my end, so. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. I heard something uh, clashing. That's it. Let's just let's just do this one. This is fine. Um, you see a small cottage. Uh, the things you would expect a hag to have uh, is like a frog hanging by its foot from the ceiling. Uh, different like bone wind chimes and lots of different again the uh, like plants growing into the house as it has been common amongst many of the things here in the spring court, but these plants seem a lot more withered, um, less vibrant and uh, uh, fragrant as other plants have been uh, like tree roots just into the side of the house. Um, and they, there's a, in the center of the room, there is a, a large cauldron bubbling on a fire uh, where you see a creature standing at it. Um, not what you were expecting, Kelborn, having met Auntie Grinwall before. Uh, but you see a a smaller uh, figure uh, wearing robes that aren't the best kept, kind of patchwork robes. Um, gre pale green skin, much like this other creature you've seen. Uh, but it has doesn't have any tusks, but like a little bit of a longer nose and chin. Um, black hair uh, that comes to about her shoulders uh, and she stands mm, maybe three and a half, four feet tall uh, much shorter than you would expect a hag to be uh, she's kind of stirring the pot and throwing things and you see like just like chunks of flesh and different herbs being thrown in these Oh, welcome to my hut. Um, visitors, I haven't had those in a while. It's it's getting rather warm around here now. Uh, I guess people can be up and moving again. Did you do something different with your hair? You look different, auntie. Oh, oh sorry. Uh, you must not have been getting out a lot. Um... Aunt, Auntie isn't with us anymore. Um, uh, I, you can call me Sissy Chrissa. Um, <clears throat> yeah, uh, she's been replaced. Sorry. Oh, where'd she go? <clears throat> Vacation? Not, not far. <laughs> so? Oh, another court. <laughs> no. Um... <laughs> Um, another <laughs> cottage? No, no. Another room? Mm, <laughs> I, I think I whispered to Kevor or Report Spore. I think under the floorboards, maybe six the feet basement? down. <laughs> I Report Spores. She might be in the cauldron. <laughs> And then I, I report first. Why? It's too small. That's, <laughs> okay. that's <not> about. <laughs> um, um, you and oh, sorry. Go ahead, Benjamin. <laughs> if you've taken over for mm. Auntie Grinwall, uh, perhaps mm -hmm. you would be able to help us. We're in, um, shopping around for a portal to the material plane. Oh yes. Um. Oh yes. I haven't had many. Uh, guests yet so this is oh i'm excited um Ooh, uh, do we get a discount maybe oh you know actually i know this 
I, I know of this guy who has a knife that lets him go back and forth where he wants to. I mean, if we... Oh. Something like that, that could be even better. Now that I think about it. Oh, well, if you're looking for something more... Um, many use, I, I, that might be possible at a price. Kind of wringing her long fingered, gnarled hands. <laughs> oh, uh, how much? <laughs> he pulls out his gold pound. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. So, um, if you were looking for some little more permanent use, like more, many use things, it of course would be a little more. But if you just needed just a, a wee little portal, uh, we could. We could also figure that out. Um, are there things you're looking to offer for this? Or would you like me to name the price? What? 50 gold? Mm, we don't We don't work with gold here. Silver? <laughs> no, <laughs> no. <laughs> Everyone, why don't you sell her another song? Surely you know a lot of them. I... I think this is going to take more than a song to get. Yes? And I'll like say that a little bit louder. Like, more than a song? We got a bottle yes, of wine just, for a song. See, a song will get you a cheap wine, but not okay. not a portal. <laughs> so, Wait, it was cheap? <laughs> what do you like to deal in? Um, you know, it's, it's things that are more important to you, perhaps, or... Um, oh, like my bowl. <laughs> Gosh, I love this bow. You know what? No, I wouldn't part with it. Nope. Right, that, that'd if be I too... can't get it from you. <laughs> <laughs> that, well, maybe for the night price, I'd consider it, but it would be it would be hard. Hard to part with this bow. Give me a deception check, please. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Where's my deception? Where is that? Oh, there it is. Okay. Wait, why does it say I have advantage? Hold on. What is that coming from? I don't know why you would have advantage. Oh, I think so. It says rune carver. Is that only if I had activated a certain rune, maybe? Well, rune carver is a feat, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Or a background. Or is that part of rune knight? It would be rune knight because rune carver is a background. And I don't think that gives you advantage in deception. What the hell? If I want to tell Would it be what from your from? cloud giant rune? I think that the it's, cloud giant it, rune well, gives what you What it's that. saying is, when I looked at it, when like I actually click on it, it says rune carver. Like it's telling me that's the thing that's giving me the advantage. That's weird because that's a background. I um, might have taken that background from me. I don't think you would have, because it's the, it's from Glory of the Giants. It's one of the new ones. Uh, rune Carver, here we rune, go. You can use your magic runes. To, okay, so it is just the feat that is for being a rune knight. Uh, oh, so yes, it, it has the same name as the feat. Yeah. Uh, oh, yep, yeah, there it is. Uh, you learn two runes. So I think it would be if I was using one of these, or is it a passive thing? I don't uh, uh, The cloud ruin has the passive of advantage on sleight of hand and deception checks oh there you go oh, while you're so carrying while an caring. object inscribed as a rune so do i just yes, have yeah. that now apparently okay screw it each oh, rune has man. a passive and then an active thing that you can uh use once a day oh, oh so that's it so would much be a... better oh I... so no it's a pass time yep yeah, yes. yeah, yeah so it's a 19 okay. then oh well i mean you could at least let me see this bow. Mm, I don't. I don't know if I, my my pa my my da he gave it to me, so it's really something special. All right, if I can't get it, ah, uh, you, you know what? I love letting people look at it, though it's so pretty, <laughs> and I get it off my back. <laughs> uh, she's gonna take it with her hands. Um, uh, God, she's rolling so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna report spores to uh Kelborn and say, Your dad is going to be so angry with you if you trade away his bow. 
<laughs> I know it doesn't mean anything to you. <laughs> da doesn't have to know. Are you are you sure you wouldn't be willing to part with it for a wee little portal? You know that <sighs> we do really have to go somewhere. I mean, it would. Oh, you know, I'm gonna think about it. Let's see. Let's see what other deals we can form. But I might, I might be willing to part. It's gonna take. It's gonna take me a moment to really get over it in my mind, accept it. Yeah, yeah. You like go to take it back from her, and she grips it a little harder than somebody would be handing something over. Uh, and you uh, give me an insight check. Oh no. <laughs> uh that's a six. Okay, yeah. You get the bow back from her. Mm. I, um I kiss it, the bow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I can't get the bow from you, what else do you have to offer for a portal or a object that can create portals? Um, if we, it is not quite as precious to me, but it is possibly, um, just as interesting as I'll pull the staff of Lolf, um, off of my back and say, um, we did liberate this from one of the children of Lolf. And it has served me well, but um, perhaps an item for an item. So I'll keep a light grasp on it, but hold it out for her to inspect. Uh, give me a persuasion check. Sucks I have disadvantage. Mm. Um, that's still a 17. Hmm. Oh. Speaking of, young uh, uh, Kelborn should have been rolling a flat because he has exhaustion. That's but it's whatever, we're past that point. Um, <clears throat> she kind of looks it over. As, the daughter of a god, you say? Well, Indeed. some say the daughters can be more powerful than the parents. Um, I could pass. I, <laughs> <laughs> I like clock what she said and just like try not to react to it <laughs> <laughs> um i could possibly put something together that would allow you to pass between realms in exchange for this and the bow oh and the bow oh no <laughs> do you want my arrows too oh you I mean, we could sweeten the deal if some arrows would be involved as well. You drive a hard bargain. <laughs> well, is it a bargain taken then? Well, do we still need the time dilation thing? I'm gonna, like, I guess I report for that. Um, I mean, it probably wouldn't hurt. Um, as. Part of this, as powerful of a fae as you are, mm -hmm. at least for this initial crossing, could you perhaps twist things in our favor so that we can land temporarily where we want? Hmm. I could do it as a one-time thing. Uh, if we were to do the staff, the bow, and the arrows, I think I could get that together. I'll rapport spores very quickly. Do we need to come back to the Feywild? Do we need <laughs> something that'll allow us to cross over multiple times? I mean, what? she just wants the staff. We don't use the bow. We don't use the arrows. I mean, <laughs> with, I, we might as well get that the thing. Okay. I mean, it's your bow. I'm not, it's your decision to give it up. Um, And I'll, I'll just, because essentially it's, Kelborn uh, offering his things. Just look over to him. Um,
you're not gonna do anything tricksy with this bow, are you? No, no, of course I wouldn't. You can trust me. You bet I already filled that insight earlier. <laughs> <laughs> can and, I roll? Yeah, yeah can I know. try an insight check? <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be bad. Ooh, it's not bad. Um, I got a 16 even with disadvantage. She'll probably repurpose it into something. <laughs> that uh, may not be all in the up and up. And again, through a poor sports, she's going to do something gross or weird with it. I don't know what, oh, but it's not going to be good. TMI. <laughs> TMI. <laughs> <laughs> don't need to know that. I don't. It's some version of that. I don't know how it's gonna work out, but it's not gonna be fun. Um, what if we add on just a, another little thing? Just a little thing. This, Why are we offering? Wait, well, hold on. This <laughs> this trade. <laughs> you won't use the bow to harm me or my family or my kin in any way. No, of course not. All right, you have a deal. All right. So your time slip thing, what are the ins and outs? What do you need? Um, I mean, we've been here for a few days. If we could get that reduced, I don't know exactly what time scale we're talking about, like down to hours. Minutes. Oh, you, you're trying to return to the material plane as you were when you left. Yes. All right. Maybe just a second after we left, just in case a we don't want there to be two of us. As you were a second after you left. Got it. Yep. And <clears throat> Not as we were trying to return immediately the second after we entered the portal. No, we want to be as we are now. But yes, a second <laughs> after we had left. All right, so you want to be in your current state as you left, right when you had left, right? Because you know you wouldn't, you would, you would have lost the bow if we went back in our old state. Because I would have the bow with me, so you don't want to do that. Give me a uh, persuasion on that. Uh, 18. Oh, wait, hold on. Disadvantage, right? Yeah, disadvantage. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Nine. <laughs> Nine. I mean, the bow would be separated from you, but the terms are that you want for the staff and the bow and the arrows, you want an item that allow you to travel in between the material plane and the fey wilds. Um, and you want to return in the state you are currently in to a time where you were a second after you entered the portal. Yes. All right. I can do that. Right. I'm just like, I, <laughs> I don't know how much this hag is going to try and mess with us, but <laughs> you know, that all sounds legit. You are so much better than Auntie Grin Grinwald ever was. I think so too. I use her powers much better than she did, I think. Okay, yep. her powers. You, okay. <laughs> you certainly, <laughs> certainly are. All right. Well, um, uh, I'll just need to get some. Is there any kind of item you specifically want this to be? A dagger seemed to work pretty well for the other guy. I just not too gross. We kind of we have too much of a spooky theme already. If it could be less spooky, Kevhorn will grab a hand axe out of his. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's too clunky. You don't want a hand axe. It's perfect. It'll work. What about It'll a flower work. crown? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I can I can uh, enchant this hand axe. Oh, brother, if you could go and get um the mixing. 
the mixing rod, please. Handax uh, just screams murder. <laughs> I mean, it's not a bad thing to scream. <laughs> <laughs> you see the large creature like move into another side room and start collecting some things uh, and brings out a, like an armful of things as well as this uh, rod that seems to be it's like an off white color um, kind of looks a little granular in texture does it, uh, does it look like a bone uh, give me a perception hmm Nope. Nope. All right. Yeah. Um, a three. <laughs> Looks strange. Mm. Uh, he brings it over and like dumps a bunch of this, all the stuff in his arms into the cauldron. Uh, don't be careful with. Okay, it's all in there. I like takes the rod and starts stirring it and throws in a few other things like little body parts and uh, I like takes. Uh, an hourglass and smashes and pulls some of the sand out and uh, sprinkles it into the uh, into the pot uh, then puts her hand up all right now I need your axe please I will hand it over hands over the axe she takes it and dips it in and like stirs it around in there for a little bit and there's like puffs of smoke coming up uh, from it as it's interacting with this liquid and she um... pulls as I'm near the pot, can I see if the Auntie Grin... I already forgot her name. Grin is in there. Uh, give me a perception. Mm. 14. 14? Um, you see an eyeball come up for a second and go back down. She's not in the basement. <laughs> 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 pulls the axe out of this uh brew it is like it drips green slime for a moment and then like almost looks like the slime solidifies and then dissipates on the axe um and then she get, hands you the axe and takes uh, four little cups scoops up a little bit all right the axe will allow you to teleport and these will allow you to time slip just take those quickly. I'm kidding. It's not that. She puts the cups back in and like <laughs> takes some herbs from the ceiling and <laughs> crushes them together in her hand. I, you just have to. One. You just have to take a little bit of this dust, and that will help you time slip. Again, just like the spores. Just <laughs> okay. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Nose bleeds for a second. <laughs> <laughs> and then I just need let's get I wild. Need your staff and your bow and your arrows, please. Yep. Yep. I had already took it off my inventory. <laughs> <laughs> Same. <laughs> Takes and puts it away. It like hands the staff to brother who carry, uh, walks over into a into a different back room. All right. Well, thank you for stopping by. Um, I'm glad I could help some of my first customers um enjoy your travel before leaving we'll, we'll leave a review <laughs> uh can i just give a once over like am like do i think she's even a hag oh uh, yeah do i i'll say you can do a nature check okay hey even with this advantage it's not terrible it is a 16 yeah, she uh, appears to be hey, just a very young one. Oh, okay. Right. Uh, oh, goodbye, Bo. You are so special. I'll make sure that it makes somebody else's life very special for them. That's so mm -hmm. nice of you. <laughs> All right. Goodbye. Well. Yeah, okay, before, before these herbs wear off. Yes, of course. <laughs> you have 12 hours to do so. <laughs> oh, okay, that's nice. <laughs> Kevorn will pick up the goopy ish. <laughs> but yeah, actually, doesn't have goop on it anymore. It did for oh, a moment, okay. and it like, solidified and dissipated. It used to be goopy at X. Does it say ass? Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's different. <laughs> 
I'll, I'll go outside with the axe. All right. Yeah, you go outside. <laughs> the door closes behind you on its own. Creep. Creepy. That was a lot easier than hmm. I thought it was going to be. We're not that far yet. Let's not say yeah, anything. Just, <laughs> we can, once we... I will... <laughs> I will try and tear a portal. How are you going about this? Just... Slashing. You're just slashing yeah. for fun? Not thinking about anything? No, not going... gotta... <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Worm Doom oh. Craig. <laughs> Worm Doom Craig. <laughs> Tell me, has Cavorn ever been to Worm Doom, Craig? Of course he has. <laughs> yeah. I'm no, you haven't. <laughs> <laughs> Roll me a D100, please. Oh, oh Lord. <laughs> Oopsies, my bad. <laughs> okay, we're going to get our side venture in Icewind Dale no matter what. <laughs> Oh, we could end up I all mean, the way in the south. Who knows? I don't. I don't know what's going to happen. But uh, yeah, let's do it for fun. Why not? Could I do an advantage on this? I'll <laughs> say yes. You can roll twice. You get to choose what number you pick of the two. <laughs> of them. But yes, okay. you can roll twice. I will assume higher is better. Sixty-nine. <laughs> Well, with D100s, it's always kind of a wild card. Well, I rolled a 45 for one. Okay. I mean, I can't roll more than 100, but I did. I, so I'm assuming that's just, that's just 100. Well, what are the numbers on there? 109? So, that's not so possible. the two zeros and the nine, it would be just nine. That would be the number yeah. nine, oh. yeah. Oh, it would be number nine. Yeah, so either nine or 45. Go nine. Do we want to go middle or low? I think you go low and hope that low wins it. Because 45, it, it, like, it's just not good either way, I feel like. Right? Like, I feel I like mean, nine's a 50-50. 45 is just a nothing. No, it... 45 objectively is the safest because it is the, like equal distance from good and bad basically if we choose nine we are locking ourselves into the best or the worst option i'm kind of here for it i'm though. a gambler <laughs> i think you roll the dice you yeah, choose, you, which choose. One. you choose oh oh shit never went up <laughs> who the fuck let kevin have an act yeah i don't know i'm the fey guy <laughs> We didn't know how this was going to work. Yeah, no, we didn't get an instruction manual. <laughs> I was trying to see if I had a coin nearby. Um, let me do something. Yeah. Well, assign <laughs> one to odds and one to evens to just roll another die. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm going to roll a d4. Even? Will be forty-five. Okay. Odd will be the nine. I rolled a three. All right, okay. that's nine. You taking the nine? nine? I'll take as, the nine. As you cut this portal and prepare yourself, you see like an echo version of you run forward and go through the portal, taking the forty-five wherever it brings it. Interesting. And now you have. Your option, go through the portal at your pace. Did I recognize the echo? It didn't look dissimilar from you. Like yourself, as you are now. Oh. So it seems like this was the moment that that echo was created, essentially. Am I, oh, no. was I able to peek through to see <laughs> what that portal was? Nope. Uh, Did I see a god fucking smash so me up too? It didn't necessarily. So going that echo <clears throat> going through the portal didn't necessarily change anything in front of you. Yeah. But that whatever your echoes represent took that other option that you used to roll twice. So. Just throwing it out there. What if the reason that that 
Echo looked normal is because that's the one that survives, and this Kev Horn's the one that dies and becomes like the new dead Echo. I think it's just that we reached a branching point. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> also, I think um, just like put your coats back on because we are no matter where we end up, it's going to be cold i forget what time of year it yep. is on the material plane that's right it we was... totally bought crompins back at the castle <laughs> no you didn't oh, Shit. Yeah. it was like <laughs> it was like fall it's not going to be as bad as it could be but it is going to be um, cold i will say since you worded it like that i feel a tingly sensation on my back He's gonna grow wings. <laughs> Everybody has wings. <laughs> Everybody get your armor repurposed. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! I mean, we just um, go through now. I yeah. I go through. Yeah. Put our coats back on. Right, let's go. Kevin goes through. Follow through. TPK. TPK. Go through. And as you step through, you. Well, Benjamin doesn't feel it. The rest oh. of you feel a little bit of cold I recognize sting on your face. <laughs> and you look in front of you, and not far off from where you're standing, you see a large skeleton. Uh, rib cage is re reaching up towards the sky of a what appears to be some kind of dragon-esque creature um, and you see figures moving amongst uh, the bones and up towards this larger cave at the top you have made it to worm doom cray let's go it was a 10 percent chance to make it here you rolled a nine <laughs> 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 Let's go. Also, R, as you were when you left, if you hadn't awarded it correctly, you would have lost two levels <laughs> because you would have returned to what level you were when you entered the material plane. Yeah, I knew that bullshittery. <laughs> <laughs> so you've made it here in one piece and the level you were at. Uh, I... I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like. I don't like how it was left up to my role. There's <laughs> people walking about. Yeah, like further off in the distance. You're not like it's not super far off in the distance. It's close enough that you can see. Um, but it's yeah. There, there's people walking Hello? about. What day is it? <laughs> you there, boy? What day is it? <laughs> Why it's Christmas Day, sir? <laughs> uh like you're yelling like it's a distance you have to shout uh oh uh to he have them here and you do see a couple of them turn to look at you they kind of like wave slowly uh and like wave to have you come closer let's go yes who who has the little dragon carby little I dragon carving that we got we got a small stone dragon carving that can be used as passage into worm doom craig i'll pull out the small dragon carving <laughs> that i definitely have had in my pocket this right. entire time yeah, somebody has <laughs> you pull it out i don't think it was me where did we get that from <laughs> We got it from the dude in, um, we got it from Commander Samson Thunlakalaka in Udengald, not Udengald. Yeah, Udengald. Yeah, in Udengald. Uh, it was one of the last things we got because this is that he's part of this tribe that Valida Takun was part of as well. We were leaving and he's like, hey, you ever go up there and need some help? My people could help you out potentially because we explained the whole giant situation. Mm -hmm. And his mom is here, but I didn't write down his mom's name. So. <laughs> we'll just say that he sent us. <laughs> I don't remember if I said her mom's name, so hopefully I didn't. Because uh, I don't remember it. Um, 
yeah, you begin walking towards uh, these people. As you get closer, you can see uh, the larger, more muscular form of Goliaths, this gray skin uh, and blue markings on their on their bodies, on their face and uh, hands. Um, and like they aren't wearing much for clothing either. They seem to be well uh, uh, adapted to this colder weather. It's not incredibly cold, but it is still colder than it would be further south. So there is some flurries, but not much snow right now as you travel across this mountain, mountain pass towards them. Um, two of them kind of approaches it. Well, you shouldn't be yelling out here. It's still cause for avalanche at times. Uh, but welcome, uh, Warm Doom Craig. Uh, my name is uh, Craig. <laughs> Craig of the Craig. Craig of the Craig. That's what they call me. Uh, <laughs> and uh, uh, this year is Drawden. Uh, 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 <laughs> Drogden, of course, Drogden? with the Craig. No, Drogden. Drogden. I specifically nice. didn't name him Drogden. Drogden. That's a good Drogden. name. Drogden. Drogden. I'll just okay. call you Aw. Oh, of course. That's what most people call him. <laughs> uh, not the not the smartest bulb in the box. Anyway, what uh, you just appeared out here in the the spine? Where'd you guys come from? You come from oh, Ten Towns? Your mom's house. I don't know why that. <laughs> No. I wanted to no. say that. <laughs> <laughs> well, our mom's house is up in the cave, and you didn't come from that way. <laughs> uh, it's an exceptionally long story. Oh, we love stories here. You could, you, we have a storytelling uh, uh, at the fires at night. If you want to join us for that, we could hear all about your adventures. Um, yes, that sounds lovely. Um, we are here on, um, important business. Um, oh. we, uh, Samson Thun Lakalaga, uh, someone that we met far to the south, said that you might be able to help us with, um, a problem. That is, oh. you're probably well aware of, but we're here to help you if you can help us. It's, I don't, it's been a long day. <laughs> yeah, you don't seem to be talking much sense, but, uh... Does Craig look high? No. <laughs> <laughs> he looks I younger. He hot. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought he was going to ask, too. <laughs> hey, maybe. It's your thing. Muscular <laughs> men. Um... <laughs> Uh, he's like, well, um, he doesn't seem high. He just seems younger. <laughs> uh, probably doesn't know what, like, underlying problems there would be if it's not an immediate problem. Mm -hmm. Um, well, uh, hmm, I'm trying to think who to take you to. We shouldn't just take you straight to our... Take us to your leader? Oh, uh, I mean... Mm -hmm. He gave us this, if this means anything. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. That's... Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, okay, <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, if you can come with, uh, yeah, we'll bring you right to the, to the, the, the tribe leader. Let's go. <laughs> Great. I don't know I... why he's so <laughs> flippant. <laughs> you know, Craig, He's young. I I like your style. I think this is Thank you. good great things are happening here. <laughs> you know, we were just gathering supplies, but this is much better. We get to go do something else. Um Extraud and you stay here though. I, I I don't need I don't need you with us. Oh. Poor Gerardin. <laughs> yeah, no, he's he's got to cover my my work <laughs> while I'm bringing. <laughs> Uh, you follow uh, Craig up the the spine of this dragon seems to create the pathway up to uh, the higher uh, caves. Um, you, again, you go past Goliaths that are uh, just going about daily chore things. Most of them aren't like there's some that are heading out into the spine itself, probably hunting parties or things similar to that. Um, you go past the small drum circle, uh, larger, like, uh, there seems to be like a lead drummer, an older Goliath pounding on 
a larger drum while there's some smaller ones around him <laughs> found <laughs> doing a drum beat um and you go past like it it's like these a lot of these standing rocks kind of a little taller uh you see goliaths throwing a ball back and forth to each other and jumping trying to intercept the ball as it's thrown to other people um and you even see uh do perception checks for me Dude, how many of my characters are going to make appearances? I mean, come on. Oh, oh. Well, it's your turn. I've used all mine, so. <laughs> wow, actually, even disadvantage again. I'm rolling good. Um, yes, I got a dirty 20 with uh. disadvantage because I got a natural 20 with my other one. <laughs> so that's 22. Ooh, dang. Seven. Oh, oh yeah. I got now one. Nice. Uh, yeah, Benjamin and uh, uh, Kelborn, is like a, a, a little bit away is where the hunting party had been heading to when you pass them. Uh, you see some larger uh, creatures taking off into the sky. Uh, looks like uh, the hunting party is taking some griffins out for a flight uh, to be heading off hunting. Um but you start you get your way into the cave uh the smaller oh, not really small because they're goliath still so they have to have taller ceilings to be able to walk through uh but kind of like hallway tunnels that open up into small into rooms uh there's like a larger gathering room that he brings you through first that oh this is where if you want to tell stories later uh it's gonna be great the hunters will bring in some food uh, we can have food and we can tell your stories to each other it's going to be awesome. I, um, I love Craig. <laughs> <laughs> if anything happens to Craig, I don't know what I'll do. <laughs> um, and you see there's like a few Goliaths uh, sitting in here. Uh, he brings you a little bit further. Um, and as he does, the tunnel begins to like fill with a light smoke, not enough to like choke you out or make it impossible to breathe, but it, like creeps along the ceiling of this tunnel. Um, and you see in the smaller room a two well three goliaths there's uh one older goliath kind of sitting down uh cross-legged on a he's not on a mat he's on the stone uh kind of more monk-ish esque robes um and he's kind of talking to himself while some smoke comes from incense next to him uh and then there are the two other goliaths one's a little bit larger wears like white furs um kind of it has the uh the head of a polar bear on the top um as it's lo taller larger uh more muscular build uh with a spear on his back as he's kind of sitting on a rock as well and then another goliath next to him a female uh with white like um braided hair it pulled up into a pony that's a or ponytail not just a pony i need to fully say ponytail i don't know why <laughs> it bothered me <laughs> um but it falls down her back uh and she's like sharpening a blade uh, as you approach uh, you'll see that the female also has red markings over blue markings like the rest of the glass you've seen have uh as craig enters he kind of bows his head and puts his fist to his chest he's like chieftain uh got some people here who say they uh, they're here to help with a problem um didn't know we had one but uh yeah i'll leave you leave you to talk to them they have they have the totem so should be good <laughs> get a backs out of the room <laughs> <clears throat> um who did he seem to be talking to when he said chieftain uh the figure in the polar bear uh 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 clothing headdress yeah, 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 yeah. um i i am benjamin kolana i've spent some time in the ten towns these are my companions uh siegfried kelborn and kevhorn we oh, what about our titles that you've Oh, I, 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 okay. Um, <laughs> I am Benjamin Koalana Jr. of Luskin. I am 
the Emissary of the Depths. With me is Kelborn Kerrigan of the Feywild Princess Guard, Prince Princess Inheritor Guard. of the Spring Court, or soon to be Prince of the Spring Court. Kevhorn of Gamasari, Chosen of the Mountains, and the Bearer of the Keenness of the Stone Giants. Siegfried of Baldur's Gate, Pain Bearer of Ilmater. Celestial Chosen. Oh, quite regal names all of you have. I am Kenamok Thunlakalaga. Chieftain of the Thun Thunlakalaga tribe. My young. We'll say clan member uh, said you had a problem that you were here to help with. Yes, I'm um, here I'm... to shine light upon that. I'm sure you're well aware of the recent increase of movements of frost giants in these mm. lands. Yes. Um, yes, they've been <clears throat> gathering more and more, it seems, as opposed to their nomadic or small groupings. Yes, we are dealing with this in the south as well. They are gathering under a storm giant king, King Hreg, who has sent his queen to the north here to excavate something from underneath the glacier, where she has drawn a party of frost giants Party is an underestimation. I believe it was called an army of frost giants to assist her. Yes, this is troubling. We have seen them up at the glacier doing some kind of excavations. And many storms roll in. Not... I shouldn't say many. It's been a few times, but they're... Strange storms, not things we're used to up here. Lots of lightning and thunder accompanying them, and strong, stronger winds than even we're used to during our heaviest blizzards. Yes. Um. Hold on, I'm pulling up. Where, where were they? Uh... We have seen those as well. We believe they may be connected to the storm giants. Um, but we don't know that for sure. So, how is it you plan to deal with this problem? That is what we are here to hopefully get assistance with. We are very few in number, but this is a large threat that we don't know the end consequences of. We know that there is something of value and power below, below the great glacier. So if we can prevent the queen from getting it, that would be best. Um, and from my dealings and other things we have heard, the Goliaths are some of the strongest folk in the Dale. So we would come, came to you first for your assistance with this. Right, and um, <laughs> it wouldn't just be you assisting. We also have um, got the help of uh, Zavros and Orlin. Mm, old friends of the Goliaths. They said they were there when this all went down. Yes. Uh, they've been around these parts since before my time stopped a great everlasting winter many many years ago so you plan to just take on these frost giants head on then um i am not 
the most skilled in war. Um, but I don't know these lands well enough <clears throat> to have an alternate strategy. And I, not to be blunt, don't know if we have your assistance with this either yet. If we don't have assistance, then we will not be able to take on the Frost Giants. Well, the Goliaths aren't one to stand down from a challenge. If you're, you say it's as bad, if it's as bad as you say, we can't let that continue on. But I think it would be more advantageous to us if we were to cut one of the heads off of the worm, as it were. How how do you all feel in fighting one Goli one giant by yourselves? You think you could stand up to that task? Sure. Yes, definitely. We could probably make it work. Uh, give me a deception check. <laughs> or oh, persuasion could, if you actually could believe totally in yourself. We could totally do it, Benjamin. We've <laughs> taken on so many things already. Come on. I think... I'm going to do a persuasion, because I think Benjamin is like, we could probably take right. one of them. Then you can do we it. We did survive pretty well against the Fomorian. Like, we mm -hmm. didn't can immediately do, go down. You can do a flat roll, because Kelborn is also with you in thinking we you can do this. <laughs> I rolled like shit. <laughs> um, that's a 14 pers uh, persuasion. <laughs> I'm also rolling really bad tonight. Well, if that's the case, <laughs> the four of you could challenge their Jarl to a fight. <laughs> okay. There's um, one place where he can't decline a challenge. So like a, where would that be? Like a moot or something? Yes, there is a, a sacred place to the frost giants just north of here. If you go and challenge him, he will have to respond for all the past Jarls will be in uh, council to watch over the combat. <clears throat> um, okay, that's certainly, um, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that would cause, I mean, I am assuming then that defeating the Jarl would dissolve their forces. It would make them less organized if this King Hreg is still at the top of it. They would most likely still answer to him, but they wouldn't have their Jarl to keep them in line, as it were. Would it be a fight to the death? Uh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Let me add him. I like this guy's energy. <laughs> I mean, but you made it sound like all of us would be able to challenge him. Of course. Oh, okay. you as a group could challenge him. That hardly seems fair. We should probably choose one of us. Mm, you know, I like this Kevorn. guy's energy even more. <laughs> I didn't give one. Okay. <laughs> you got this. Um, you're the one that got a cool new sword. The heck? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I. You know, I just no, saved no, the fae. No, I, I think, think it's this one's on you. No, no, no. I, I think you're, you're much stronger. I think you, you got this. You got this. Um, with do you know of? I don't know how much you know of Ross Giants. Do you know of any where they may be keeping a 
totem, something that holds power for them. With the frost giants being so separate and nomadic amongst each other, their head Yarl would probably be carrying it. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Well, where would this site be? When are you ready to travel? <laughs> Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> That's a good idea. I'm good. Let's go now. I'd love to have a nap so I don't have a level of exhaustion as we're traveling. Even though it's probably going to be more than one day, but I would love that. <laughs> yeah. All right. Sleepy boys. Sleepy. We can head out first thing in the morning then. Until then, feel free to stay here. Hmm. We have extra bed rolls for you to use. And of course, if you're going to be staying, you have to exchange some of your stories of your travels and payment. Of course. Yes. All right. Well, there is some goat ball going on outside. If you want to watch that, you can always challenge others to physical activities if you'd like. It's not. <laughs> or you can just rest until our f our dinner for the evening where stories will happen. Thank you. Do you have any uh, areas of prayer or silence? <laughs> <laughs> um... I mean, you kind of just prayer, prayer where you want a prayer. <laughs> this room is kind of our sanctuary, but if you're going to be praying to your gods, probably not this room. <laughs> well, the goat ball might be a little, well, you know what, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right, is there anything you guys wanted is there anybody you guys want to talk to um not that you necessarily know many people here um or any uh, or is there anything you want to do before dinner and bed um he mentioned the uh, physical activities is that boxing if you want to fight fist to fist with somebody we have plenty of people that could do that Sure, why not? All right. Um, how how difficult do you want this fight to be? He kind of cracks his knuckles. Oh, whoa! Am I fighting you? <laughs> you can if you want to. There are others that are. Yeah, sure, we, have, we have a champion here. If you want to take them on, I'm a champion too. Let's let's challenge. Champion. That's right. A champion of uh, what was her name? Vol Voliada. The, the mountain or something. Avalida. Yeah, that was her name, right? Yeah. I expanded. Oh. Do whatever with the shield. <laughs> yeah, just expand the shield. You have her shield. This, all oh, right. You definitely do need to take on our champion then. Follow me. Die. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. die. <laughs> Walking out of the tunnel uh, brings you out to the courtyard where the goat ball is happening. And he kind of shouts up, Famok, you have a challenger here. <laughs> uh, you see when the Goliath, female Goliath, like as the ball's flying, just grabs it and then looks, <laughs> down, it. looks down at you. Uh, female Goliath with red markings, uh, just kind of wearing almost like a, a s skirt made out of furs um, and uh, a top. Um, her hair is shaved on one side and like folded over uh, to the right side of her head. Uh, she hops down from this pillar and kind of tosses the ball back up for the rest to keep using it. Um, just incredibly built, probably about seven foot nine. Uh, walks over. He's so you're wanting to challenge the champion, huh? What 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 are we doing? What what's uh what is the challenge? One on one hand to hand combat. 
first one to yield is the loser. Yeah. No weapons, only fists. Do, do you like fight for some sort of prize? Yes. Pride, Pride yes. Right. What better prize is there? Yeah, you're right. <clears throat> he will. Catform will staff his try if he can. Is it stone? <laughs> it's mostly stone, but you can find like a weaker spot to stab it in. We'll stab his trident down into the stone. All right. Uh, I guess I need to take off my shield too, I guess. Yes. Do Goliath count as giants or humanoids for the purposes They're humanoids. of... Okay. Yeah, I will have my owlbear guard my items while I do fisticuffs. <laughs> luck, she's a and barbarian. probably die. <laughs> uh, All right. Before, before you go, I'd like to offer a, a quick prayer. It's a bless. <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, it was going to okay. be Death Ward. Oh! <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Uh, she kind of leads you over to this uh, ring area. Uh, I, I also <laughs> take Kev Horn aside and um, uh, try uh, you. Um, you got this, buddy. Try try the um, right hook under the jaw. Maybe maybe weaken the knees. Give that a go. Um, you're gonna do just fine. I'm gonna cast aid on you just so <laughs> you have five more hp five more hp let's go <laughs> <laughs> all right just like from a distance just give you like a wink and some finger guns you're gonna you're just gonna do great i have the most faith in you i have nothing i can cast on you i'm gonna, I'm gonna have no teeth <laughs> <laughs> i can bless too right yeah, <laughs> just stack all the buffs. Come on, let's go. <laughs> all right. Um, dude, didn't say anything about my. Ah, should I use my echoes? Look, if she uses her rage, you use your echoes. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> okay. Um. No weapons. Armor? Good? No? You can wear your armor if you think you need it. <laughs> Look, with your sheer stature, I think I do. <laughs> <laughs> you look All like right. you eat boulders for breakfast. <laughs> Step into the ring when you're ready. I do. All right. Both you step into this ring made of like smaller flat pebbles uh, sunk into the ground. Pebbles. And, and let's roll initiative. Shall she we? don't know what coming to her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna throw more than just hand. <laughs> oh, that even make it into the my pebbles. Oh, are, ah! The pebbles are sunk into the ground, so it might take a little bit to get them out if that is your line of thinking what'd you roll uh alert finally kicking it i rolled a 19 plus 6 25 nice she did get a 23 so you just barely beat her <laughs> you go first it's just arm arm strikes mm -hmm. sure is bud <laughs> <Guess what? laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'll, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. You got bless? Oh, yeah, I do. I mean, like, oh, that's not what I hit, wanted, right? I probably hit, right? Right? That is a 15 plus 8, so. Tw what? 23 plus 2, 25. 25 will hit. Yeah, I'm throwing everything at her. Oh, well, I'm gonna rest after this anyway. <laughs> if I'm not dead. So, four damage. Just six. 
but I will add on Strike of Stone Giants. Twelve. Fuck it. It's my it's my it's my part of it. Can I use smite? I think you can smite on unarmed attack. Does it have to be a weapon attack? That's what I'm wondering. If, if it's a melee weapon attack, I don't think unarmed strikes count unless you're a monk. Damn, it's weapon attack. Okay, um... Yeah, melee weapon attack. Well... 12 damage, that's it. 12 damage isn't bad for an unarmed strike. You see... Stone. Punch her in the abs. She kind of looks down, looks back up to you. All right, to my turn. And she like flexes and her eyes turn red as she goes into a rage. Uh, and she's going to attempt to punch you. What the heck? First one. <laughs> What's your AC? Without my shield, which is something I just realized. 17? Yeah, 17. Uh, she does hit you with one of her punches as she comes in twice. Um, for... Oh, that's a two, not a six. Um, sorry, my brain turned off. Uh, why is my brain not working? Sorry. Seven points of blood chain damage. Uh, with this punch that lands on your shoulder. <laughs> it's your turn. Okay. Um, as she punches me, fuck it, three more of me pop out. Mirror image. Mirror image. Then I will go for another punch. All right. Wood bless. That is a what is that? So that's a nineteen plus thirty twenty. Thirty twenty hit. Then I will add another strike of the giants. Another twelve. Another twelve points of damage. Nice, yes. nice, nice, nice. As nice. you punch her uh you feel that the skin has hardened much more uh than previously um yeah did you have you had three punches you were doing right or no three of you appeared but you have two attacks right no no you don't have to attack no, it to you no. that's right you're a little stinky one attack person yeah um <laughs> As you punch her and feel her skin harden uh, to your hit, uh, she kind of looks down at you with these red eyes, and you fe you see as two blue arms come up over the top of her shoulders, um, and a blast of energy comes off for any dexterity saving throws from you. I thought we were going to get a hit on the sidelines. <laughs> <laughs> that way for a second, Got huh? you in strays. <laughs> um... Yeah, no, fuck it. I'll roll with advantage. All right. Bless is a part of this, right? Is it? Uh, it is a saving throw. So 19. 19 will pass, so you avoid taking this force damage, but two more punches come your way. Natural 20 on the first one. Ooh. And... <laughs> Uh, even better, or not even better, but still good on the second one. I need two rolls from you for your mirror images. D20? Uh, yes. Yeah. I rolled a 19. I believe that's one of your images, right? Yes, six or above is what it starts with. All right, so first image gone. Roll for the second one. Nine. Well, I like six. Six. So I believe the second one hits you. Yeah. Yes, because it's eight or higher for the second one. So you avoid the nat twenty at least. Um. Just obliterated. <laughs> uh, I might be. Let's see here. Uh, 
Uh, that will be 12 points of damage from this punch. So you get socked again. It is once again back to you. Okay. From behind her. Ooh. From the top ropes. <laughs> <laughs> Another me spawns in. That is a five on the echo. I think that's burnt. Yep, that's burnt. Kev I've been rolling burnt a lot. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just like skin dripping that is melted so much. Gross. <laughs> That is a, ooh, uh, 18. 18 will hit. Okay. So that's just six. Then my last stone strike. 11. 11 points, 11 points of damage? Yes. Okay. And then unleash incarnation. All right. That is a 19 plus 8 plus 2. I, I hit. <laughs> I don't yeah. want to do the math. <laughs> yeah, that'll hit. And that's another 6. Another 6. All right. Now that she's set up, <laughs> it is her <laughs> turn. We've got four attacks coming your way. Oh, no. <laughs> Using Flurry of Blows. First oh, one will no. hit. Second one. Uh, roll me your, your mirror image. Second one also will hit. Third one will hit. Fourth one will hit. So I need mirror image on the first one. It's eight or higher. Ten. Ten. Mirror image is destroyed. Roll for the second hit. Uh, you need a eleven or higher. Eleven. Eleven. That mirror image gets destroyed. Now you get hit by two hits. <clears throat> uh, rolled pretty bad on that one. Uh, 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 let's see. Nine points of damage on that one. Second hit. Um, 13 points of damage on the second one. Ooh. How are you looking, Kevhorn? Good. Ready to go another round? Yeah. All right. I guess it's time. It's time. <laughs> Die. <laughs> to cast Bane. Oh, that is your action. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What kind of saving throw is it? <laughs> Charisma. <laughs> Charisma saving throw. She rolled. A 14. You ugly, ugly, <laughs> ugly goodbye. Any bonus actions for me, Kevorn? Um, yeah, I will... Cry. Second win. All right. <laughs> As you go to take a breath in to reheal yourself, four more punches come your way. Yep, yep. Hold on, I'm just... First one hits. I'm trying to see how I heal. Second one hits. Third one misses. Fourth one misses. So only two land. You take uh, 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 13 and nine. Two more punches from these uh, okay. incorporeal arms nine. punch into you. 13 and 9, 13 and 9. I'm just trying to add in the thing that I healed. 13 and 9. Okay, 13, <laughs> 9. <clears throat> Ready to yield yet? Um. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Take your turn. I'm um, still I'm... fine. <laughs> I'm still okay ish. Uh, sure, why not? <laughs> I don't know how high she's been only for these attacks, but I'll do it. Okay. Right. Uh, Shield of Faith. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's your AC at now? So I went down to 17, 19. You're at 19? And that's your bonus action, right? Bonus action. Okay. And I will roll to hit. 
anything to stay in this fight. <laughs> I just want to see how long I can go. <laughs> 11 plus 8, 19 plus 4. I assume I hit it. Yeah, oh yeah. Okay. That's a uh, 6. And then Unleash Incarnation. Okay. Nineteen plus eight plus one. Yeah, that'll hit. <laughs> That's another six. All right. Um, I feel like she has me at the second, this next round. So absence sure. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, I will. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Think it. What else? You, you can punch her. That's all you can do. <laughs> what are you thinking about? Should I lay on hands on my son? <laughs> just try to sustain through the damage. <laughs> She's just gonna punch you again next turn. Look, this is just for fun. And <laughs> I, I'm. You do what you want to do. <laughs> Yeah, 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 punch. Fourteen plus eight plus three. That'll hit. That'll hit. That's another six with my last unleash incarnation. Another six. Oh, this one might not hit. Five. Thirteen. Fifteen. That, do, that does miss as you punch her again she puts her arm behind her this time to catch your echoes punch and, and she she looks back at you one last chance you do you submit this this isn't about to see how strong I am this is just to see how long I could last if I know you're not a giant. We're close enough. I respect that, but now I'll respectfully knock you out as she <laughs> takes a wide stance and four punches come your way. Uh, AC is uh, 19 now, right? Yes. Hits. Uh, misses. Let me throw a con. Misses. And hits, so two hits. Two hits. Uh, I need to roll above a 10 for a con save for concentration. Uh, yes, because she won't do any higher to do 10. Okay, I pass two. Well, it depends how much, how hard did you hit me? <laughs> a 14 and a 16 for damage. Ooh. Oh. So total of 30. Gonna yeah, they beat the shit. Out of you. <laughs> respectfully, <laughs> that was one more take of damage that I could take, and I go just down. boom, two misses as you dodge the next two, and then as you're staggering, and then the blue one, the blue fist punches you in the side of the head, and you get knocked out cold. One HP. Yeah, Ward, yeah. you. Uh, I mean, yeah, you are. You technically have one HP if you'd like to keep going another round, because Death Ward doesn't. I mean, bring us you're not. Out I there. technically lost, easy. so that's where I'm going to end it. Okay, yeah, <laughs> you, like you stay standing with the power of Siegfried, but it is enough to bring you to a knee, uh, and the fight ends. She like goes down to a knee after you went down. You lasted much longer than m many folk would. Impressive. <sighs> I'll <laughs> try to stand up. Oh, I am standing up. Yes, yeah, you I will you to your feet. I will reach out my arm to do a handshake. Yeah, a, she fucking flails me around like the whole <laughs> <laughs> two astral hands recede back into her body and she grips you with her much larger hand than yours and shakes it. <sighs> Thank you. Well, with your party next to you, if they're half as strong as you are. I think I think I need to go lay down. 
Fair. Tanner I see, like, ready. wobbles <laughs> off. <laughs> you know, we have an opening in our group. <laughs> we will think on that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, as you guys get ready for dinner, um, there can be, if you guys want to do more things, we can do it in the next session because we're ending tonight uh, with you guys amongst the Goliaths and Kevorn taking a few too many punches uh, than he was ready for. But still a good fight against a barbarian monk. So thank you all so much for joining us tonight. Uh, we will be back uh, soon before you even know it. We will be back. Uh, so be sure to join us then. Otherwise, uh, Let's keep making stories together, gang. Keep your eyes open. New show coming to you soon.